Now, as far as the rockets, this doesn't look very traditional. So I'm actually going to delete those off. Let's see if I can just grab a nice front face here. We've got all kind of stuff going on here. Let me clean these up. And so these edges were from the, the mirror modifier, which shouldn't have been on there. So I'll just dissolve one of those edges, which should cut that down nicely. And then I can scale that out on the X. Let me put this back to geometry for the origin point. Scale that out, G and X. Grid modeler. Bring up my grid a little bit. Let's take on a front view and I wanna build out the missile box. So something to kind of start off. Think that just so I can kind of match what's going on, I'll bring the grid in a little bit. There we go. And make it look you know, a little bit more like it's part of it. That looks pretty good. And this is this just takes the need of the bullions almost completely out, which I like a lot. And let's bring that out a little bit more. And like I said, you can always zoom in to fix things. Very versatile. There we go. I hit Q and then pull up my create face. And I can extrude that bad boy back a little bit. And I think that's going to look a heck of a lot better. And now I can mirror that. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm going to apply the bevel and everything afterwards for this one. So I'll go back to the grid modeler. Now this one's a little bit more tedious. So I can pull this up and I can just make a circle. Shift middle mouse wheel till I've got about 32 segments. I think that'll be good. Right click and then grab that. I want to scale that up a touch. Hit D to create an array. I think we can hit D again. And I'll hit it again. And this is very easy. Try to space them out a little bit so you don't have too much selected at one time. And I'll just select this and hit D to array that one more time right there. And we'll select the outer edge. And I'll hit D to duplicate that for an array. And then I'll just grab these three and hit D. All right, so that looks pretty good. So I'll just hit Q to create that as a bevel. And I don't want these to blow all the way through because it remembers your last beveled position. Something like that, just give it a little bit of depth. Actually, it looks pretty good. And once you've got that done, just select one of these faces. Let's come up here to select, select similar, and we'll select area. And what that'll do is just select all those faces, shift D, right click to drop it, Q, separate by selection. You know the drill, go back to object mode, come back, let's grab all of those and G and Y, and we can bring those to about here. Looks pretty good. I can hit inset. Yeah, I'll hit inset and then G and Y to kind of bring these out like little rockets. Get out of the way, move. And I'm going to add a little bit of geo. Let's see, that's not going to do that for all of them at one time, is it? Okay, so I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just going to grab with the, I'm just going to jump over to edge select and add a bevel and then pull the bevel back about as far as I can get it without it looking stupid and let's see how many do we have here going for six that should be pretty good all right I like that so I'll go ahead and shade that smooth and auto shade now I'm gonna grab this 
uh, the rocket bays. Right click the foot, control C, copy the modifiers, come back up, check to see that they did transfer. All right, so in order to actually make this look really good, each one of these bevel positions would really need to have two points. So if I went into vertex select, I would need something like a nice piece here, and that's K for the knife tool, then A to make it straight, perfect, left click, drop it, hit enter, and now I've got a point. And from here, I would need another uh, fairly straight point like K between maybe here and here, probably can get away with that, and hit enter, and then do that for a few of these other ones and remove the need for these edges to be here. And so I'm actually just going to take a, I'm going to take a moment and do that. So K for the knife tool. And I'll bring this from here to here and hit enter. So I just want to bevel the inside position here. So this will have two points to hold it together. K and then I can hit here, enter, maybe. Let's try it again. Hit enter. There we go. That looks good. So this one will need another point. And I can hit the knife tool and then A to make it straight, bring it over here, that's a lot better. I come into edge select and grab all of these and I should be able to dissolve those edges out. So that's not there looking crazy and then let's see if we can dissolve that edge as well and it should be doing the same thing to the other side. And I mean there's a lot of cleanup, a lot of different things you can do but now you can bevel that edge out if you wish. You can put a chamfer, but I'm going to bevel it with about eight segments. That looks pretty good. And so now I've got a little bit more of a rounded look to it. And then you can kind of jump around and do the same thing if you want to do some cleanup, because whenever you create bullions like that, they have to have two very uh, nice and perfect points to it. So I'm actually going to clean up this edge too so that the uh, stay in one spot, so that the topology flows. And see, K, A, enter. Keep that one looking good. What happened there? What's that? Let's get rid of that. Grab this point, A, enter, boom. Okay, I don't know what that was. That was very weird. And then K, A, enter, and do that. And now these points, let's see, I can fix this one as well. A, enter. Let's try it again. Nope, not that spot. Because I know that's trying to grab an inside edge, and I definitely don't want that. There we go. So now I go over to Edge Select and take these funky diagonal pieces and dissolve those edges, and it should be good. I don't think there's any other geometry that looks crazy right there. So now I should be able to grab this edge and add the same bevel to it. I'll actually bring it down to 6, a little bit smaller. And let's jump back over and take a look at that. Yeah, it looks good. So it keeps the shape language a little bit nicer. If you want, you can clean up these edges and do the same. And I think it's starting to look pretty good. All right, I'm keeping it really short for the last few tutorials, kind of chopping them up into smaller sections. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial lesson.